What's up, everybody? I wanted to do another PWM Flickr test just to show you all what's happening behind the scenes on your iPhones, especially if you are considering upgrading from a previous year's iPhone to the newer one. Now, older devices, not just iPhones, are it's really good to kind of check in to see how's the PWM Flickr on it, because if you notice that whenever you're looking at your phone display or a TV or tablet, and you start to get a headache or you just don't feel good when you look at a certain display for a long period of time, uh, one of the things that's worth checking into is the PWM flicker on it. Um, and so I just wanted to do a quick comparison showing how the 16 Pro Max, which just recently came out, compares to um, an older iPhone, uh, the iPhone 12 here. So this, your brain can actually pick up this flickering. And for some people, they're very, very similar, uh, not similar, <laughs> they're very, very sensitive to this flickering. And so, you know, it just really, uh, it just doesn't feel good to look at certain displays and you can't figure out why, but your brain can actually pick up this flickering. So your eyes might not notice it, but your brain is aware of what's happening. And so it's worth checking into before you purchase a device. Um, you know, see how you feel when you actually look at it, not just is it a well-designed device, but how is the display, like how do you actually feel when you look at the display because there are effects that come from all of the screens that we're looking at day to day. So anyways, check this video out. Make sure you watch to the end because you'll find out that when the screen gets dimmer, that's when you can really see um, just how bad the PWM flicker can actually be on certain devices.